Immortal Legacy, the Jade Cypher game. Um, <clears throat> I'm about two hour, two hour mark, uh, and so this is really no options here. Your second pot, though, or you popped up second, that, right? So sounds, voice, language, all this stuff, right? All, all good to see. Uh, you're, you're, you're just stuck with these horrid, horrid controls. Um, th there's, there's no, I will say, Gabriel, meow, uh, the, the, and the deal is, is that Ezra, meow, lots of game cats. The deal is, is that there's, there's just no, uh, thank you, Cornerstone City. I am actually doing uh, very good. <laughs> Proud dog, thank you. Controls is from the get go. Oh, but that's interesting. We went to non VR mode here. Oh, the loading screens are in non VR. That's interesting. This should... <laughs> and back, back, back and forth we go. What's up, babe? Just make sure that the VR heads uh, five hours. Wow, what kind of connection speed do you have, dude? That's bad. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So here is here's here's the deal. The controls in this game are so bad. Hold on. How do I skip the cutscenes? There we go. I'm gonna skip every cutscene. Nonprofit. What's happening? Yeah. Let me know, let me know how the stream health is, guys, because uh, because I uh, I just got all my internet connection issues. Anyway, back and forth. Back and forth we go. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Every, every single news... Drops you in and out of VR. How, how weird is that? It's not noticeable until you stream it. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Because I, I, just, I, just I just did a connection test, uh, and everything on my end is, like, phenomenal. My code name is Tyre. Sana and I are on a journey. Okay, we really need to skip these. A journey scenes. we may never come back from. Yeah, we don't. As our plane falls, Rami, you will I never see a score on this clay. channel. Sorry. Memories old and Try new. Try streaming in 360p. I focus on. There are no control training. options here. I, why can't I skip this cutscene? I can skip all the other ones. All right, here we go. So. So here, here, here's one of the issues right away, guys. Um, hope, uh, I mean, my, my, my uh, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but I will tell you right now that these, uh, that that my, I did, I did a stream test before this, and uh, and and I, and I will tell you that man, I, I'm killing it. I'm killing it in, uh, in in terms of upload speeds. So everything on my end is. Uh, is, is is amazing so so sorry if everything on your end isn't so hot um but everything on my end i'm, I'm like uploading like really really high speeds uh all right k panic yeah man you were like the the the, the entire thing uh you're the whole viewer takeover topic pretty much um all right so guys so so one of the big issues that everyone's going to talk about with immortal legacy the jade cypher is 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 the controls and he let me demonstrate the controls for you so you know what you're getting into First of all, what just happened with my move control over here? <laughs> so, okay. So, first of all, these arms, they're connected to my neck. Like, they, unless I'm the smallest soldier on the face of the planet with, like, tiny little soldier, uh, tiny little soldier, sol soldier shoulders? Soldier shoulders. Soldier soldiers. Soldier shoulders. That's it. Um, like, they're, like, they're, like, connected to my neck. I hate that. Like, just give me some, give me some floating hands, man. Like... What is going on with this move controller? Legit, no problems. Uh, no problems with this game at all until I started streaming. And now I'm, now it's like being all weird at me and stuff. All right, so the, here are the controls, and there are no control options. This is a live fire exercise. Pick up your weapon and hit the targets in front of you. What's up, Wolfie? All right, so here's how the controls work, and it's so tough to describe because we haven't had janky controls like this in such a long time. Like, these are some, like some day one launch day, you know, attempts at locomotion. Uh, so on here's, <laughs> with the left move controller, you hit the move button to walk. That's pretty st standard, right? But then the click turning, which is click turning only, in the, the top right face button on the right move controller turns you right. And the top left button on the left move controller moves you, turns you left. And then you can strafe by using the bottom right or the bottom left. 
it, it takes forever to get used to this, right? Because you can't just hold the move button and do this. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, the, the arms are like attached to my neck. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel right. I wish I just had floating hands. Um, but you can run by holding the other move button. And now, let's, it gets even worse, guys. I, I, can't, I can't believe I have to say this. So the bottom right button and the bottom left button on the right, you can... Wait. Did, there's, there's no smooth turning. Wait, wait. Where, where did you just come from and say, and say that there's smooth turning? There's no options for that. There are no options, I promise you. So anyway, yeah, Kev Gret obviously has been doing this as well. Um, so, so then it gets really confusing because let's, let's grab this gun here, grab it with the trigger and, and nothing ever feels quite right. Like there's no, uh, there's, there's no angle to adjust. So you're always feeling like you're moving, aiming your hand way further down to aim it straight than you should. Like this is where I feel like I should be holding a gun to hold it normally, right? To, to aim straight ahead. Wait, there, I don't understand. Where Where's this smooth turning option that everyone's talking about? I've checked all the menus. I, is, there, is there an in-game menu that I'm missing? Some, somebody tell me how to do this because I've been, I've been, I'm two hours into this game and I've checked everything and I couldn't find anything. So obviously I missed something. Um, yeah, Sonic. So here we go. So now we've got option, bu option button on the left move. What? Hold on a second. What? Where did that come from? Oh my god. I've never seen this menu. You have to be kidding me. Oh, thank god. Okay, so first of all, smooth turning on, right? Turn speed as fast as possible. Strafe, yeah, I guess. Um, okay, gesture settings. Choose which way you want to hold... Okay, well, there we go, guys. So suddenly, suddenly two of my complaints are taken care of. Thank you so much, guys. All right. You turned off smooth turning. Oh, God. Well, I guess we'll see how that goes. All right. So let's see how this... Oh, my God. Oh, no. Smooth turning is so bad. Oh, my God. It gets so dark. And it's so slow. Oh, this is so torturous. I, I don't think... I think we turn okay. Well, my my complaint stands. <laughs> my com that complaint stands, but at least I can hold the guns the way I want to hold them, even if my arms and hands look so goofy. Ah, oh, so dumb. All right, smooth turning goes off. I've never turned smooth turning off in my life, but man, we are turning that shit off now. Um, we can still turn turn speed up though, huh? So let's see if that helps me. Oh, that just makes it an actual click instead of a. Here, you know what? One, one more time here. I actually want to turn it back down because at least it feels less like click turning and more like a quick turn, quick turn instead of a click turn. I don't know. Yeah, that just feels better. All right, whatever. Okay, so it gets worse. You can't get rid of the blinders. That That's so goofy, man. This, there's so many things. Yeah, it's, this definitely needs a patch. All right, so we, we, we got to start. This, this tutorial kind of tells you everything we need to know. Um, at least, it, at least the aiming feels better now that we fixed the uh, that issue. Hey, thanks, Taco. Now, if you want to reload, if you want to reload, you just shake the controller and it's re and it reloads. All right. Holy crap! I can't believe smooth turning existed the whole time. All right. So, I hate. Got it. All right. Just, we'll grab everything we can see. Okay. Now here's where here's where things start getting confusing, right? They said, "This is great." I didn't know what the package was, right? It says hold to open the package, and I'm like, "What's the package?" And I kept trying to I tried trying to go around and like, "Is this the package? Is is that the package? Is that over there? Is that the package over there?" The package is your inventory. It's like your 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 fanny pack or whatever you want to call it, man. It's like the stuff you're carrying. Um, so you hold the button. There we go. So this is basic. This is basically left hand and right hand. The stuff you're carrying in each hand. Uh, K Panic. It, it looks very gray. It is very gray. It's very brown as well. Um, but this is just a tutorial area. I will tell you that later in the game, 
Uh, this is one of the best looking PlayStation VR games out there. Um, it is the, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now that there's so much to hate about this game, but once you get into it, it's so good. It's worth learning all these terrible controls for. I swear to you, like just, I, I swear to you, um, the package is between your legs. I got a lot of shit hiding in my package, apparently. All right. So what happened? I just had all these, um, they want me to throw a few grenades here. There we go. There we go. So I, I didn't find firefights to be a chore because once you get used to the controls, like everything kind of starts making sense. Uh, hey, what's up, God Ken? How you doing, bud? All right, this is just telling us how to how to move quickly. Yeah, th throwing works fine. Every so often you get to one of these things here where it's like, oh, I'm climbing a ladder, and I just do it because I'm climbing a ladder. But dude, I get I gotta say, like I know this this introduction. This, in this introduction is probably putting off a really bad impression, and it and it is. There's a, it's a bad impression for a good reason. Uh, yeah, no, it, it's goofy things like this. But I will tell you that this is. I'm like I'm two hours oh, in. I'm home. And it's one of the, like the it's it's one of the most fun games I've played in a long, long time. So like. I will never go back. Yeah, we're we're skipping all the cutscenes because the cutscenes. This is so weird. This is so weird. I, I, get, I just keep expecting to see a little picture of me in the top right-hand corner of me sitting on my couch in my boxer shorts. <laughs> All right. Moving on, moving on. And forth we go into VR, out of VR, into VR, out of VR, into VR, out of VR. Hey, we got to give a shout out to Ben who uh, who just came and uh, who came and fixed my internet. <laughs> He's, he was here for like an hour, and uh, oh man, I felt bad. I was like I had to move the beds out of the way for him, and I had to like clear. It was just nonstop me like being like, hey dude, um, poor 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 Ben, poor Ben. Uh, the first boss, I mean, is was that the turret gun? Is you consider that a boss? Uh, because yeah, I'm way past that. I'm about an hour past that, I think. <laughs> Ben's the man. Do you read me? Over. All right. So here we are. We're again very strange. You can see our we're tied up over here, or we're we're handcuffed to the wall, and uh, and, and we're we're skipping. We're skipping because let me tell you something about these cutscenes. Uh, they're bad. They're bad. Uh, James, you, you missed the whole moving conversation. Uh, I apologize, but... It's all it's all head tracking. Um, it follows your head tracking. And... It, and mostly click turning, because the smooth turning uh, is terrible. Is Get some stuff over here. Like, whatever. There's, there's a lot of collectibles, which is fun. I think collectibles are, like, one of the more fun elements of this. Um, I think the graphics are often amazing in this game. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually know who this girl is because I, I keep, keep skipping the cutscenes. What's up, Jay? Wow. Uh, but the cutscenes are terrible, basically. And we're just going to walk around here. Oh, uh, that's right. At some point, they just... Yeah, Rody, th this would be a perfect game. I, I hate to say it. Um, I'm, I'm, nev I'm never the guy that goes, this game needs an aim controller. That is Cookie Pie. Yeah, I even found like a little Cookie Pie. She, she's like a, she's like a YouTuber or something. She's an influencer. Wow. It's very strange. Look at that view. Wait, let me take a selfie. Are you afraid of heights, mister? I love heights. So she's, she's very out of place. Her, her, her role in this is, is silly. Um, there are so many earthquakes here. And you can you can fall off the ledge, FYI. Don't don't fall off the ledge. It's twenty bucks, and I gotta say, uh, for, like I said, I'm about two hours in, and like from the trophy list, it looks like that it looks like 
like I'm not even close to like you know scratching the surface of the game. I could be totally wrong. I want to beat this game today. I'm going to play it pretty much until I beat it. But Trey VR, dude, it is absolutely worth twenty dollars. It, it's just the controls that are so difficult to get used to. It's going to take you a solid hour before you get used to them. So that's why they call it the Dragon's Triangle. But they won't come here anymore because of the dragon. How did you get here, kid? This is so weird. You can call me Cookie Pie. She just said she just just doesn't fit in at all. It's so ridic ridiculous. All right, so let's grab let's grab this over here. Hello, Betty. All right. I've missed you. Yeah, the voice acting in this is is pretty terrible. Um, but here's the, that's the thing. I think I think everything about this game is awful, right? <laughs> like the voice acting is bad, the cutscenes are bad, the story is uh, pretty bad. Um, it feels like like a budget like Kojima game, right? And um, and, the, and the controls are just awful, right? And, and the inventory system is terrible. And there's so many things to hate about this game. But man, it's so fun that it's worth struggling through. Um, in fact, even even what I'm trying to get through right now isn't isn't terribly good. What's up, Joystick? Tough break. So basically, this this is still sort of like tutorial-ish. Like they make you walk slow, and they make you like hang out behind this girl. All right, I'm just like taking my time here. Like that, and her character model is not good. Like I don't think her. I don't think her mouth moves. Who, who, did somebody just ask about Cave Digger? Cave Digger is great. Uh, Nonprofit man, I want to I want to say that everything in this the so bad, the so bad it's good element doesn't really apply to this. <laughs> like the bad elements are just bad, uh, and you just like that's why I like skipping, um, you know, skipping through cutscenes and stuff like that. Um, but here, like. Like, this is kind of satisfying, right? Alright, here we go. Careful. So, I, I really that do hope they sense. patch this with better controls, um, but, but honestly, it's a $20 game, and it just feels like such a bigger game than, than I expected it to be. Um, it's, it, like, it, like, it looks... It, there's going to be a lot of parts in this that just look boring and gray and lame, but it's so much of it. What are you still doing here? So much of it just looks so good. When you get to the windy areas and everything's just blowing around all blustery and shit, it's so good. I love Cave Digger. Cave Digger's totally worth the 10 beans, man, for sure. All right. Get down. They're armed. See, and I hate when they take the hands out of your control. Hey. Yeah, we're just we're just skipping the cutscenes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Headshots are really where it's at in this game. Come on, come on. Headshot. Hedge. Headshot. <laughs> Man, I did better the first time. I think I went into that a little overconfident. The first time I had no problem at all. I was like headshot, headshot, headshot. Yeah, it def somebody was definitely like, "Oh, have you ever wa have you ever played Metal Gear Solid?" Oh yeah, just just pretend like you're pretend like you're Solid Snake. Um, and there's so many guns in this game, and so here's the thing: I, when I when I kept previewing this game or kept seeing all the trailers and stuff, what it looked like to me was this is going to be like Resident Evil Five ish. It's going to be Brookhaven ish, and like that's all kind of true. But you know what this feels like to me? This actually feels like to me a budget VR Uncharted game, and I and I know that's like fucking blasphemy, right? It's like it's like holy shit! Don't say Uncharted VR because that that like gets expectations out of hand. But but honestly, whoop. but honestly, it feels like it feels like a VR Uncharted game. Like it it almost looks like a VR Uncharted game. Uh. So, so like, if you liked Uncharted at all, I would say for twenty bucks, man, like this is a definite. Should we? Uh, here's one of the things I hate about this game: it's constantly telling you to look forward, but then it forces you to use 
uh, head tracking <laughs> to turn sometimes. It's, it doesn't, none of it makes any sense. This thing doesn't go away very often. Here, let's get, here we go. So here's where, here's where things get really stupid, right? When you want to, it, it's, it's kind of like a crappy Uncharted, but it's like, but it's a good crappy Uncharted. So you can move things from your right hand to your left hand and back and forth. And then you can like throw things, uh, you can throw things away if you're, like, you're starting to run out, uh, run out of space. Uh, the, this whole system, you're going to like end up bringing up these menus so often on accident. I just shot on accident. That was ridiculous. Um, so this is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now for 20 bucks, you're going to play this and go, this is 20 bucks. Like, you know, Falcon Age feels like a $20 game. Um, what, what, what else recently did we just play? Beat Blaster feels like a $15 game. You know, so many of the games we've been playing recently just feel like, you know, they're, they're, they're cheap. But this, man, once you get used to the controls, you're like, damn, man, this is like a, it feels like a full-fledged game. Uh, no, I think, I think Uncharted's totally overrated. Um, in fact, I, I didn't, I, I reluctantly bought Uncharted 4 to talk about it on the podcast. And, and don't, and don't like it at all. I don't. I don't think that Uncharted Four is a very good game. <laughs> so, so we can't blame Nick for not liking Uncharted when I don't like Uncharted that much. It's it's like a the Uncharted Four is just too damn long, man. It's just too damn long, and it's boring. It's boring. It's just the same formula over and over and over again. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. So hold on a second. This this is what's great about VR. I'm actually ducking behind this. Uh, I think PSVR 2 will come out probably about a year or two after PlayStation 5. So stra strafing is something you really should get used to when you're doing this. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can stand and recalibrate here, because I was I was sitting, but this game is I gotta push my 3D rudder out of the way. My 3D rudder showed up today, guys. Woohoo! I got a 3D rudder in front of me. It's craziness, and, and, and this game does not support the 3D rudder. I tried it, because <laughs> this would have been a great game for the 3D rudder, because the movement scheme is so terrible. Um, here, you know what? Let me uh, let me move my this to here and that way with my left hand I can have this and my right hand I can have this let's do this all right here we go moving on yeah I gotta say the build on the 3d rudder is pretty cool man like it, it, it's a very solid device um, I haven't so, so when Ben was here fixing my internet <laughs> uh, I, I was taking it out of the box and setting it up and uh, but I haven't but I haven't actually gotten to try it with anything yet. Uh, I was too excited to play this game. Look look at this look. It's not it's it's not perfect. But I'll tell you like, I mean this is it's a this is a twenty dollar game and these are some like fucking cutting edge PlayStation VR graphics like this just looks really nice in the headset. Uh, Crisis Brigade is amazing. You got to get Crisis Brigade and it's so damn cheap, man. It's like what six or seven bucks. Crisis Brigade is so good, but this is this. I I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is this is one of my new favorites. Um, it has so many issues, but it's it's worth dealing with the issues. I really like this game a lot. You can totally do this, totally do that, but this is, this is not feeling good with like the, <laughs> it's just so goofy. The arms are so weird, man. Everything's so goofy. Yeah, uh, I should, I should clarify. I, I thought that Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 were pretty good. 
Uh, they were pretty formulaic, but I liked them a lot. There he is. Let's hide over here. Alright. See, this is great, man. When you get into it, and you're actually, like, strafing around, and you're... And you're, and you're using cover... Effectively. Like, the controls actually suddenly feel really good when you're in the heat of battle. Hey, take it easy, Wolfie. Have fun. Oh, shit. I didn't even see him. Alright. Where is he? Where is he? Stay in the cover. I'm like literally ducking in my living room. Alright. Yeah, so so that's that's the great thing about this game is that uh, whoever just asked if it was supposed to be a horror game, it's I don't know if it's supposed to be a horror game, but but what it does is it sets it up so well. Like remember the first Uncharted where like it seems just like. You know, it's just uncharted. That's you're running around, and then suddenly it gets all paranormal and shit, and you're like, "Ooh, that kind of was like unexpected but awesome." Um, that's what this game does. Like, like basically, um, yeah, let me look around here. I know there's a collectible around here. Yeah, I actually I bought this from the UK store. To be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I had it pre-ordered because there wasn't a pre-order for the U.S. So here's our here's our first collectible here. Just lots of stuff around the environment to find. Uh, if, if there's ever two two ways to go, uh, if there's two different paths to go on, like try to go down both of them. So so this game is so this basically is um, like like again it feels very uncharted and then it feels very uncharted in the way that like it, it takes a strange turn. For the you know for the paranormal for the horror, um, and, uh, and and I mean and I think the more paranormal it gets, the the better it gets. Um, this is I'm I'm so shocked by how much I like this game because I really hated it for the first twenty minutes. Yeah. And all this stuff get here. I would love if this had aim support. Surely I would these goons didn't haul it here. I would love if this had aim support. I wish it had some customizable controls. Um, but man, I'm telling you, don't don't skip out on this game just because everyone's going to tell you how bad the controls are, and they are absolutely right. But don't skip out on it, man, because this game is this game is incredible. I think it's really showing us like what the next wave of VR games is going to be like um, in terms of like you know. Uh, immersion in in, uh, in graphics and stuff and yeah again like and, and push through I know the first hour is going to suck for a lot of people um, and there's some jankiness to it man there's a ton of jankiness yeah it's Alan Maru uh, I also need to finish up uh, Table of Tales honestly this is just more my speed this is just this is just more my speed like uh, Table of Tales is a great fantasy game, and it's a great something we've never really had before in PlayStation VR. But, but man, this is this is like this is the kind of game that I just love. All right, so let's see. All right, now we get some drones that come in here. Blind firing. Here we go. Oh crap, there's two of them. Ah. Trying to hide, trying to hide behind this. It's not working. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
crap. Yeah, Delirium Dream must have just joined us. Uh, this is uh, this this game is awesome. I'm actually really really enjoying it. You know, on, on top of that, um, it seems like it's going to be a really long game. Like I, like I look at the trophy list, and when I look at the trophy list, I'm like, holy crap! Like I'm barely making a dent in this game, uh, and like I'm two hours in. Like this is obviously like the beginning, the beginning hour. Yeah, Rody, the weird thing about grabbing the gun with your other hand, as I'm sure you already know, is that the other hand doesn't actually doesn't do anything. Like my left move control, I can just swing around. But yeah, let's 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 work with the uh, let's work with the precision aiming here a little bit and see if I can if I can maybe put on a better show here. Ah! Crap! 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 Oh man, I need a break, I need a break, I need a break! Come on, come on! Crap, 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 they don't even give you enough time to like heal yourself. No! So, the other... I, I do have health. I, uh, this actually only took me twice to get through the first time, so I'm not sure why I'm struggling with it so hard this time. Um, I do have health. You guys was like little... Uh, Turn the laser on. Huh? Uh, you do have health. I, I have, uh, you know, I mean, these things here, these little injections are health. But the, but the problem is, is like trying to use one in the heat of something like that is is, is a little difficult. Um, it, yeah, it doesn't help that I'm talking to you, but whatever, you know? All right, and then they take your gun away. That's really strange. So you have to like re... All right, I'm, I'm going to just... Use my handgun here. I think I might have better luck. Oh, crap. I'm not having better luck. Oh, and these controls are terrible when you... In the heat... Sometimes in the heat of battle, you're like, I just want to strafe, I just want to strafe. And then you're like... And you forget how to strafe because the control layout is so strange. Uh, but again, you do get used to it. Um, yeah, this is you know honestly, um, I don't I don't think the wait what it was turning aim assist on. That's what you want me to do. All right, I mean if you want me to, I didn't I didn't actually I didn't use aim assist at all for uh, um, for my for my for, for my first playthrough of this. Like I said, I'm two hours in, and I didn't really struggle with this the first time at all. So let's uh, let's see if this helps out. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I, gotta, I just gotta keep strafing, keep strafing, and see if that helps me. Shoot, where are they? Come on! Oh, I hate getting shot at and not even knowing where they are. I know he's right in front of me, but. I didn't see that until just now. Come on, come on, come on, take him down. Come on, shoot. All right, there we go. Doing a little bit better this time, so maybe the aim assist is what I needed. I don't know. Also, let's just stay behind cover here. Dave, yeah, man. I know everyone's gonna complain about the control scheme, but I think that's, I wouldn't count on it, Donnie fam. There, there we go. Alright, fantastic. I think we are out of danger for the time being. Uh, so guys, yeah, so I know people are just joining us and everyone you're going to hear from everyone on the face of the planet how bad the controls are. But don't let that stop you from playing this game. It's just so much fun. All right, somebody's shooting at me. Oh, there he is. Uh, I 
again, I think we're safe for the time being. Uh oh, we're not that safe. Oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. I gotta hide, I gotta hide, I gotta hide. Oh no, that is not a good place to hide. Come on, no, no, no! Crap, I'm so screwed right now. I hate this menu sometimes. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so painful. So painful. I hate getting, uh, I hate get. oh, Jesus. Yeah, the controls are bad. The controls are really bad, but you still have to buy the game. It's, I don't think I've ever said that before. Yeah, the health does regenerate, but you, like, not fast enough. Oh, come on. <laughs> Dude, don't, do not expect a co-op option in this game. That is not happening. Rodia, yeah, I know, I know. All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Where are they, where are they? Oh, crap, they're over here, okay. Here we go. Keep strafing, keep strafing, keep strafing, keep strafing. Come on, I'm strafing. At least give me a little credit for that. Alright, uh, come on, come on. Yeah, Steven, basically, it's it's a lot of fun. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh... I'm getting shot at from over there. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, if they had aim support, man, like, I think we'd fix a lot of problems. Let's hide, let's recover our health a little bit here. go. I'm going to play it safe. We're not going to rush into it this time. You can totally see where the hits are coming from. Maybe you can't on the stream, but I can. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually subscribe to that philosophy, Jay. I don't think every shooter needs to use the aim controller, especially when a lot of the guns are, you know, when there's a lot of uh, two-handed things going on here. Like, you definitely want to... Uh, I mean, I'm in contact with developers all the time. I talk to Viva Games every day. Um, so you, you guys gotta remember, this is a $20 game. <laughs> right? It's like, I, I, I would love if they patched it. I would absolutely love if they patched it. But man, you guys are just gonna wait for a patch that's not coming, and uh, and, and miss out on an awesome game. Yeah, the audio is actually pretty awesome. I gotta be honest. Yeah, Blue Knight, this is a, this is totally a buy. But just keep in mind that like the the first hour, you're gonna really struggle with the controls. Really struggle with the controls. Yeah, I guess I guess I'll stop answering aim questions now because you guys are obviously just not listening. <laughs> oh God, it's ridiculous. Guys,
Now the Danish gave me saying not to get quiver, huh? Interesting. Interesting. I I, tr I I trust God Cannon. I trust our our reviewer at large, but uh, but I'm always interested in hearing other people's opinions. There you go. Obviously a heavy, very heavily armored enemy here. God, are you through? I right threw two grenades at him, man. Should we go for one more? No, the accuracy is great, uh, Bob. I, I don't know what need calibration means, uh, but no calibration needed over here. Whoa, 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 he just... That's the third grenade. Oh, please. Just waiting to heal up a little bit here. There is, there is regenerating health. Um, but man, it's taking me a while to regenerate. Well, that's the great thing about live streams, Nossie, is that things might look bad, but I'm here to tell you how good they are. It's, it's pretty awesome. ourselves up here. All right, I'm very curious about Quiver now, because there we go. Finally, took him down. That was way more effort than I remember it taking the first time. All right, let's move along. Let's move along. So these intro parts, I gotta, you know, I gotta be honest, guys. Like it's this, I wasn't sold on the game during any of these parts. So if anything. If you're watching and you're like, "This, why is he so excited about this?" Because it's not very exciting yet. Um, these these intro parts are like, you know, very basic, like Uncharted. Go from this section and kill a bunch of guys. Go to this section and kill a bunch of guys. You know, and um, and, it, and it takes a little while for it to start getting good. Once you start seeing the puzzles, once you start seeing, uh, you know, some of the more paranormal stuff, once you start seeing like the real themes of this game, uh, I I just I'm like. Crap, man! Like this is this is such a cool, uh, full-fledged game. Yeah, the control the controls are terrible, and I think the cutscenes are terrible, and I think the story is pretty pretty weak. No puzzle solving. Oh, there's puzzle solving. All right, there's puzzle solving. All right. <laughs> it's not crazy like puzzle solving, but it's but it's good. Yeah, I mean, Justin. Justin must have just tuned in. Didn't see that I was grabbing the guns from both ends. He likes grabbing shit from both ends. That's right. Um, but man, this is like this is like a beautiful game. Uh, eh, screw Tomb Raider. Who doesn't like Firewall? People. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you know, again, like, I, I I feel like it just, I don't know, there's, there's something, there's something very, very good about this. Um, and, uh, and, and the fact that, you know, they, they really botched the controls uh, made me go, I don't know. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, it's worth, it's worth taking the time and figuring them out and, and, uh, and work and working with them. Um, but man, yeah, I hated this game for the first hour or so until I got used to the controls. Now I'm like, all right, I'll struggle with them. I'll do what I have to. Like strafing actually works really well. Um, and, and I don't know, I don't really mind them anymore, but I will say it's, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a real struggle for people to get over that. Not sure what I want to do here. There we go. Uh, there is smooth turning, but you don't want to use it, I promise. I just, just uh, these guys here in the chat told me that there was smooth turning. I was like, there's no smooth turning. And as it turns out, there's smooth turning, but, uh, but man, the smooth turning sucks. Yeah. 
Yeah, smooth turning is terrible in this game. Yeah, I think I, I think so. I, th I think that the, the deal is with uh, with this. This game feels more open ended than it is. I know Justin was like, "Oh, you don't have to cross the bridge; you can go around." But like a lot of these areas are just kind of circular, and so you can either take one path or the other path, one path or the other path, one path or the other path, and it's it's so ridiculous uh, like, to the point where you're like, uh, "Smooth turning is like when you push a button or push an analog stick, and it just goes like this." Click turning is when you push a button and it does this. So, it, I'm gonna ban Jay. <laughs> Stop saying blinders suck. We know blinders suck, but some people need them, man. See, look at that. That's straight out of Uncharted 1? Uncharted 2? I don't remember. Alright. I'm gonna stay low, I'm gonna stay low. I don't think I really need. Um, here, what kind of gun do we want to use here? There we go. What's up, Will? How's it going, man? Crap, where am I getting shot from? Okay, there's. We're gonna hang out here for a second. I'm good, Will, I'm good. Uh, so, I mean, it gets very Resident Evil. Oh, crap. Where'd you come from? I wasn't prepared. It gets very Resident Evil. Um, that, that's what I love about this, is that they're like, oh yeah, it's a horror game, but it doesn't start off. Whoa, 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 I'm getting my ass kicked here. I'm getting shot through the tent. No, this is this is published by Sony, man. You're not gonna get it on PC. Sorry. Oh, come on! Wait, 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 wait! All right, something was goofy, man. Something was goofy because I was getting shot and like, I, I didn't. They, the enemies didn't even have sights on me, so something was really goofy there. But hopefully, we can deal with that this time. We can fix that. All right, here we go. So we did get set back a little bit here. Um, so yeah, so the great thing about this is, is that it feels, again, very much Tomb Raider, very much uh, Uncharted, like you guys were saying. And, uh, oh god, Arizona Sunshine, such a pile. Um, compared to something like this, Arizona Sunshine just doesn't, can't compete, man. Um, and, uh, hey, what's up, Twix? How you doing? Like, Arizona Sunshine's always been, like, the jankiest game on PlayStation VR that people just accept, right? And, uh, hey, what's up, Fortal? And can you get shot from behind 180? Um, of course you get shot from behind. You get shot from anywhere. <laughs> All right. So I, I love how this starts off, and it starts off like an Uncharted game, and then eventually it becomes way more Resident Evil. Chaos, you probably didn't play it at launch, man. <laughs> because I played it at launch, and that thing was a fucking pile of shit. <laughs> no offense to the game. No offense to anyone who likes it. But man, thank God for patches because Am Arizona Sunshine was terrible at launch. Right. You know, we're just going to cross the bridge this time. Just crossing the bridge. We're going to use this as cover here. Uh, we got another heavily armored guy here.
All right, come on, come on, come on. It's tough, man. It's tough. I knocked off his helmet, but I'm still not getting a headshot off of him. Come on, come on, come on. This guy is so tough to take down. I don't think I picked up the magnet this time. I think I left it back there. Yeah, I just used all my grenades. I've already thrown three grenades at him. Crap. Just gonna use another health. Here we go. Headshot after headshot after headshot, just not taking him down. There we go. Whew! Moving on. Holy crap, that took a lot out of me. That was like, that was tough, man. All right, here we go. We got some interesting things going on here. Stuff. Again, I think the story is pretty forgettable. Um, maybe it gets better later in the game, but but currently, I'm like, eh, whatever, you know. Yeah, Kev, great. He's a total bullet sponge. I do like the challenge, though. I, I like that, you know, because all the all the other grunts are just such, um, such like. It's pretty easy to take down. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, headshot, done. So it's good to have, like, a good challenge here and there. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yeah, I, I played the, uh, I played the demo. I played the, the, what was it, the 10-minute demo, whatever they called it. Um, and it was fun. I, I really enjoyed that. And, uh, and that's all I needed. <laughs> like, I, if Resident Evil 2 is not in VR. A while. No wonder they're losing it. No uniforms. Not military. All right, checkpoint. Marks. So one of the one other example that we were talking about, Justin was saying earlier, you can you know go over the bridge or you can go around. This is another example. You can go through that over there, or you can go around. And just to show you guys the uh, the difficulty options for this game are just easy and normal. That's it. We're playing on normal. It's not very difficult, despite the fact you've seen me die a couple times. It's I still don't think it's very difficult. I think I'm dying more during this stream than I did during my first playthrough. And this is just pretty typical climbing wall stuff. Like, we've seen this in Summer Funland, we've seen this in Carnival games. Uh, but, you know, it's just like a little added extra bit of variety here. You know, so it's not just all shooting, which is nice. Looks like we got a trophy for taking the alternate route. Uh, so, Dunny Fam, what I keep doing <laughs> is I keep playing, I keep starting standing up. I'm standing right now. Uh, and then I get to a position where, like, I'm trying to duck behind something for... Uh, no, this check the description, dude. These are move controls only. Required. Definitely need requ required move controls for this. Um, but what happens is, like, so if, somebody's, if I'm getting shot at or if I'm ducking for cover, I, like, I, I like literally crouch down in my living room and then like I, I'm kind of squatting on my couch and then I just stay there <laughs> I just stay there I, I'm gonna say that this definitely has pro support like I don't have an official word on that but but this looks pretty stunning you see this wind effect happening you're gonna see a whole lot more wind coming up soon and it's kind of ridiculous how good the wind looks um, everything blows and blusters around in the wind and stuff and it's just it's just a cool effect um, let's see if I can save some ammo uh, and just kind of duck underneath some of these and duck way, way down here. Let's see. I really wish I could get rid of this. If there was an option to uh, to get rid of that arrow, I'd be real, real happy. Jay, I mean, you, you're you're talking like you've never played a PlayStation VR game before, right? It's like every game on PlayStation VR looks like like an like a like a late PlayStation 2 game, right? But but then you're inside the world and you're like, fuck, dude, how good does this look? Yeah, Roy. Uh, I, so I don't know if you if you, if you I'm, I just feel like anybody watching this whole stream is is sick of me hearing it sick of me saying it already and is gonna get sick of hearing it soon. Um, but man, the controls just take so long to get used to that I think it's going to turn a lot of people off right away. 
and uh, and that's and that's the issue for for twenty for uh, damn I can't see oh let's just take this one out back up a little bit there we go uh, so for uh, <clears throat> the controls just are so so difficult to get used to and uh, and once you do suddenly you're like holy crap this is actually a really really good game yeah portal absolutely. We, we kind of talked about that on today's viewer takeover. Table of Tales is awesome as well, guys. Make sure you pick it up while it's on sale. Uh, that game is great. Xander, yeah, I'm not the whole game. I, I'm like a couple hours in, and, uh, and, I, and I decided to start from the beginning so I didn't spoil any of the later stuff for you guys. But I will tell you that the later stuff is so much better than this early stuff. Mostly because, you know, you know me, I, got, I like horror things, I like paranormal stuff. And so... The fact that this is a horror game, this this does dive into the paranormal, um, it's just, it's ridiculous, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, this this game, yeah, it just, it, I feel like it just keeps getting better and better the more I get into the game. Uh, to the point where I'm like, wow, they should have included some of the later stuff in the early stages just to, like, get people uh, more, more into it. And, and there's all sorts of weird things going on, like the, this girl. Welcome Hi. aboard the M3C Perseus Maritime Patrol aircraft. The M3C Perseus is equipped with a Mark IV fusion reactor, as well as a top-of-the-range Argus full-spectrum sensor array. It carries a payload of four AEW-92 uh, Table of Tales is about three hours, but it's worth... They give you a ton of options while you play. Like, do you want to go this way? Do you want to go that way? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? And I feel like it's worth playing through at least like three times. So, uh. Holographic matrix. Activate the orange area with the light bead to unlock the hatch. Alright, so here's, here's I think, our first puzzle. Right? Activate the orange areas with the light bead to unlock the hatch. There we go. Rotate your arm to open the hatch door. Uh, I cope with constant messages by ignoring messages I don't want to respond to, <laughs> and <clears throat> and it keeps me busy, man. It gives me uh, gives me something to do while I'm playing the game. So, and we drop out of VR for every loading screen. Uh, oh, hey. This is kind of nice to see, though. 102 people watching. Hi, 102 people. You guys are awesome. Hey, hop on the hype. I thought you were. Uh, I thought you were abandoning the PlayStation VR headset, didn't you? Weren't you going PC VR? Or were you? Uh... Hey, Jarius, Jairus. No, 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 no. Don't buy. Don't buy Mind Labyrinth. Don't buy Mind Labyrinth. For Go go by Zing, the land beyond instead, and it's it's just it's it's way more meditative um, than uh, it's way more meditative than Mind Labyrinth. Mind Labyrinth is fine for what it does. Oh, okay. So here, so check this out, guys. Strange Games, how's it going, dude? Um, so uh, so, <laughs> so you, you remember Eden Tomorrow? Or did we already choose to forget about that game? Because Eden Tomorrow is fucking terrible. Um, remember when you'd cross something? So I saw this, and, uh, and and I was like, I was like, oh no! I'm like, am I gonna have to play a mini game to cross the cross the log? No, you just cross the log. That's all it is. I was like, oh, somebody knows how to make a game right. Uh, so despite the despite the issues that this game does have, man, it does not fall into the Eden Tomorrow trap of. Of, of just being annoying. I, Eden Tomorrow had its moments, man, but like I, I can't I can't ever recommend that game to anyone. It's just such a slog. Um, I, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I am not a fan. Thank you very much, Howard Smith. Really appreciate that. Bye, Jay. Do do you need like do you need like a standing ovation when you leave? Is that what you want? Do you need a hug? I feel like I feel like you're getting like all like. All upset about stuff today. What's going on? There you 
There we go. All right, there's a couple uh, a couple drones. All right, stand. I'm I'm literally standing in my living room and clapping for you. Are you happy now? <laughs> I love you, Jay. Now get the fuck out of here. Stop bringing the chat down. <laughs> Gabe, thanks for the donation, man. <laughs> thanks for the heads up, God Cannon. Uh, Kevin, so well, I don't know how long the stream has been so far, but so far, as you can see, it has not been a horror game. Um, but it does turn into one. Like it is, ve it gets into caves and, and flashlights and blood and supernatural stuff. And it, it is everything I love about video games in VR. And it's only twenty bucks. Uh, there's two difficulty options. There's easy and whatever I'm playing on now, which is like normal, I guess. Um, and, and normal's not terribly hard. I don't I don't expect that anyone will actually need to play on easy. <gasps> yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of these drones. He he can, he's got sights on me from really far away. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna duck down again, aka sit on my couch. That, that's a tough question. Is it jump scary or is it psychologically scary? Uh, that's such a tough question because, again, I'm not terribly far into it. Um, I'm only a couple hours in, and I've, I've had a couple jump scares, uh, but just it sets the tone so well that I think it, it is starting to get very psychological. Are you kidding me with this right now? The second I step out, it gets me. I'm just going to give it a second, get my, some of my health back here. My health does regenerate, but it regenerates very slowly. Dan, it's just, there's no comparing this to the Persistence. They're, two, they're so such radically different games. Um, I, think, I think Resident Evil 7 does a great job of being psychologically scary. Um, oh, crap, man. Did you see? Oh, what? Yeah, the grenade's just going to land on the ground, unfortunately, and not take out the drones. Who's that? All right. And here come the drones. You know what? Can I just run past the drones? I don't know if I need to go over there. Yeah, we're just gonna go this way. Nope. Not working. Not working. Run, run. <laughs> Alright, we're just ignoring the drones for now. Maybe we can get a better perspective from them. Again, almost every environment. <laughs> JD, I love this game, man. You're gonna hear a lot of complaints about the controls, and all of those complaints are absolutely accurate. But you do get used to them. Like I'm, I'm like kind of strafing, and like getting used to how it all works. Um, it's it's not it's not great as far as um, uh, as far as the controls go. But man, oh man, it is it is just so so worth getting used to the controls. Yeah, Ghost Giant definitely the game of the week. Don't don't forget how great that game is. <laughs> Don't skip it for sure. Uh, there is there's there is quite a bit of ammo, quite a quite a variety of guns. Uh, I have been, I think I've run out of ammo like once, and then like I found a ton of ammo. Uh, no, dude, dude, stop! To, I everybody needs to stop comparing shit to Arizona Sunshine, because uh, Arizona Sunshine is not a very good game. This is actually a really great game with bad controls uh, that you can get used to. Um, Arizona was just a fucking mess, dude. such a mess. I'm glad they fixed Arizona, though. I'm glad it's not, like, total garbage anymore. Christ on the Planet of the Apes was... Christ, Christ on the Planet of the Apes was kind of like a tech demo that they decided to make into a game. I really like the cover system where you grab onto the, uh... where you grab onto a table and, like, move in and out of cover. Yeah, who just said, look at the tree? This is, this is what I was saying. Like, everything just blows around in the wind. Um... It just looks so good. Like everything just kind of like moves. It's so good. Yeah. I know. I know. Sorry for shitting on Arizona Sunshine so much, guys. But it's a, see. 
if they had charged twenty dollars for Arizona Sunshine from the get go instead of you know basically like highway robbery, uh, of forty dollars, which is crazy, like they were taking advantage of PlayStation VR gamers big time. Forty dollars is insane for Arizona Sunshine. It's still insane. It was insane at the time, and it's still insane. It should have been twenty from launch. Yeah, well, you're fucking crazy, JD. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, man. Bravo Team should have been $5. Or it would never been released. Alright. I don't know if I want to wait for my health to recover. Yeah, this game blows Arizona Sunshine out of the water, man. This, this, this is this is so good. There's no co-op, you know, and it's it's just a different style of game. Um, but but man, it is it is really good. Robinson's another quality title, man. So health just regenerates. No multiplayer, JD. Health just regenerates, but it regenerates really slow. I do have injections. I'm trying to save. Uh, but man, like. More money equals better game, apparently. Sometimes. Sometimes. You do have to take costs into every single review. I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. Yeah, if you guys can see, I've got, uh, I've got health over here in my inventory. Actually, I can bring it up. I just, just stab this into you. Um, yeah. The only oh come on, he just came out of nowhere. Oh, I'm so mad about that. Yeah, this is this is great. This is great. You just gotta be patient with it. Is all. <laughs> Holy crap! I swear to you guys, I did not. This game did not take me so long to to get through the first time. I thought I, I really thought I was just gonna like blast through the first, the first few, uh, the first hour of this game in like 20 minutes uh, during this stream. Fuck, 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 fuck! I'm just getting, I'm getting real aggressive here because I'm like angry. <laughs> I'm, like just, just go in fighting, go in fighting, stop hiding. Oh, now I gotta hide. <laughs> stop hiding, hide. <laughs> Just gotta do this, man. Just gotta do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. How can you have sights on me from that far away, but I can't hit you? Come on. Come on. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <sighs> These drones are like the bane of my existence right now. They were not this stuff the first time I played. Yeah, dude. Definitely worth your 20 bucks. Just be patient with controls. I feel like I'm gonna say this all day. <laughs> Like, just be patient. Controls suck. Controls are garbage. Man, the story's pretty bad, too. <laughs> Keep it in mind if you're buying this. The story's bad. The controls are bad. But, man, it's it's a good game. Yeah, yeah I, I, see that, I see that with a lot of people who have PSVR. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people just play Firewall. I don't know what spoop is. I have no idea what spoop is. Pretty crazy, man. I just want I just want to show you guys some of the later parts. Oh, the scares. Yeah, I don't know. Uh like maybe another like another half hour if I can actually make some progress. 
Uh, we'll get there. I'm, I'm definitely, I want to I wanna get to that part in the game. Um, I want to get to that part in the game for sure. Where, man, I wish I had like a sniper rifle or something with this. There we go. See, look at that. That was so easy to take down. That's exactly how it was going for me the first time I played. But then this one is just like, not a chance. Right. There we go. There we go. All right. Now I feel like I'm making some progress. Yeah, and, and, and guys, when I you know when I talk about how great the game looks too, like also keep in mind there's a ton of this color rock, and then you get into caves later, and there's a kind of like just cave texture. But man, it's there are moments in this game where you're just like, holy crap, what a good looking game. Um, and like I think the, like the the wind effect really really adds a lot to what's going on here. Can I say hi to Epic Zombie Op? Hi, Epic Zombie Op. How's it going, Epic Zombie Op? How you doing today, Epic Zombie Op? You having a nice day, Epic Zombie Op? How do you feel about snuggling, Epic Zombie Op? I think I finally mispronounced it the last time. Dude, Ghost Giant is like my, my one of my favorite PlayStation VR games of all time. Like, you have to get Ghost Giant. It's ridiculously good. <sighs> Mega Rayland, that's, that's the thing, right? I think it's a good combination of both. Collectible. Right. What's up, Lewis? Man, I feel like I haven't talked to Lewis in forever. Hope you're doing well, man. So I think, I, you know, the, the hopefully very soon, uh, you're going to see that, you know, when the, when the game starts start showing monsters in the game, you're like, oh, cool, this is, it's going to be this kind of game, right? Because monsters are awesome. And then... And then it's like, oh shit, it's not just monsters, it's like, it's a scary game. Um, you know, everything gets dark, you're dealing with a flashlight, you're wading through like waist high waters, there's like fucking deadly fish in the waters. Like, there's a lot of shit, you know, coming up that I want to show you guys. But I really want to show you that like, it doesn't start that way. And I think a lot of people are going to be either turned off by the way it starts, turned off by the controls, turned off by the story. And, uh... Nice. I, Lewis, I need to find somebody who's, like, beaten this game and has, like, some sort of perspective on how long the game is. So if anyone's beaten this or if you've beaten it, um, please, like, fill me in with some details because I'm looking at the trophy list and it's looking like... It's looking like this could be a very long game. I have no idea. Oh. Did we just... I think we just came to a... That's the edge of that road, I think. I didn't go in this cave the last time. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of two-handed things. Yeah, that's kind of where I am, Lewis, too. Um, I started the game over for a stream, but but I got about two, two and a half hours in yesterday. Walking around in the windy... You know, I'm always like, I, I'm always wishing, with the first boss, you mean, Lewis, the one with the uh, the turret gun? Because the turret gun, I, I, I barely felt like that was a boss. I, I did not struggle with that at all. Um, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's the boss you're talking about. Uh, if anybody, yeah, if anybody wants to add me as a friend on the PlayStation Network, feel free. Um, I'm actually not on my profile right now. I'm on my alternate account. Uh, but my, you guys should know my uh, PSN ID by now. It's that would be dark, all one word. Um, right. So here we go. I think we're 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 very com We're very slowly coming up to the first boss. I think I still have a couple more minutes before we get there. Uh, Xander, I used to be a trophy hunter, but then I started this channel and I just don't have time to anymore. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm looking at you, baby. I'm looking right at you. Um, 
So, uh, but I still, like, when, when there's an easy platinum to get, like, I, I'm, like, still very much like, I'll spend some extra time with this game. Like, Ghost Giant. Ghost Giant, by all means. Uh, Ghost Giant, like, is going to be my next platinum. It's, you, you only need to tell, uh, you only need to spend, like, maybe an extra hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours, um, with the game to get the platinum, I think. Lewis, I, I, so I'm on normal. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. There's no physical release of this, but I totally forgot about this whole next section. So we got a little ways to go before the first boss, but um, I, I do need to show you how bad the cutscenes are in this game. So check this out. Ready? Here we go. Cutscene. So here we are. We're like hiding behind this crate here, right? And we're like, oh, we're going to watch a, a scene play out from behind this crate. Nope. Now we're over here behind this crate. Like, Be careful. Is this everything? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> so the voice acting is terrible, right? But also the character models are <sighs> kind of not so good. And then it gets kind of like Metal Gear Solid. A little bit. You can't replace it if you break it. And then check it out. This is the best part. It's so ridiculous. Yes, ma'am. It's like, oh, we're right here. This is where the cutscene is what happening. Is this? this is where we're watching the cutscene. It's all of the valuables that we can find at the Citadel. Please check them. The valuables. See, oh, and now we're back here. You think this? So it's it's just ridiculous. Like it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, I just skipped the rest of the cutscene because it's awful. Um, but that doesn't make any sense whatsoever at all. It it just Hiya. doesn't make it. Any I sense? Like, why would you put me in those camera positions? Mercs. Their leader is some kind of cyborg. She just appeared out of nowhere, killed a man without even touching him, then disappeared into thin air. I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Delph. No, uh, why is it not? Like, you are not weird to like the story at all. Loose ends. Or the cutscenes. It's just very weird. It's very strange. It doesn't fit. The tone of the rest of the game. It's you. It's the others like us. The stories your mother told you are true. Right, let's see I if I can find my way around here. You knew? My mother, she killed her. Why didn't you tell me this before? No need. She's too powerful for you to face right now. And anyway, she's just a pawn. You must find the jade first. What else aren't you telling me? Hmm. So there's a lot of so there's a lot of areas that are like this. God, I wish David Hayter was voicing this. Um, not unfortunately, the, actually the case. Um, there's a lot of areas like this where they just kind of give you places to explore, but they don't go anywhere. Um, so you, it's there. There are some areas where you just kind of get lost. Uh, but here, I, I'm pretty sure I gotta go up this. Spongebob, if you think this is boring, man, then it is too hard to impress you, and I will, nothing I ever do on the face of the planet, or any game that's ever made, will ever do, will ever satisfy you, sir. <laughs> but keep your standard tie, dude. Keep your standard tie. Right? Don't be a sheep. Don't like something just because people tell you to like it. Just keep your standards high. Ooh, tea that tastes like biscuits. Does that remove the biscuit from the equation or do you dunk biscuits in the biscuit tea? Now I'm confused, man. Do you actually get to use the gun? Did you just join the stream, uh, my, my new friend? <laughs> because, uh, because, yeah, we've been shooting motherfuckers like crazy. Just gonna chop up some boxes here because I like destroying things in VR. Yeah, this is this is so there's definitely like different parts of each game. Um or probably different let me let me rephrase that. Alright here we go. Here we go. Man, 
I'm having a hard time shooting him. There we go. Just took one good headshot. Oh no, I'm running out of ammo. Okay, let's switch to another gun real fast. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Let's grab that real quick. There's another guy around here, I know there is. Yeah, there was like this huge movement where it was like, uh, where they were trying to get Chinese developers to make VR games. And, uh, and this, and this was, this was, uh, it's one of those, uh, collectibles you find. And this was one of them. It was like this, and, uh, God, I can't remember the other ones. Um, what was that, like, Brookhaven ripoff that I reviewed a couple months ago? Uh, that was another one of them. There you go. So, woo. oh yeah, lightning. <laughs> the lightning effects in this game are awesome. Shoot. All right, let's see if we can, oh crap. There we go. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Run, 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 run! This is as fast as you can move. I don't know why there's not a better... Ooh. Out of ammo! Out of ammo! Oh, crap! <laughs> that was bad! No! No, no, no! Bad time to run out of ammo. safe for a second here. Yeah, Shauna, I wish I could tell you how long the game is. It's something we've been kind of trying to figure out. Um, it's, uh... Because it, if... I don't know if they can keep up this momentum, like, keep up, like, the... the the graphical intensity, the, the the variety of um, the things you encounter later in the game, like there's uh, like monsters and uh, pretty cool puzzles. I, I don't know if I don't know how long you can keep that intensity up with with you know with the budget that they had. So I'm curious. I'm curious. Like if this is like a five-hour game, I'm thrilled. If it's like an eight-hour game, I'm like con confused. Like how did they do that? Um, but so far, the two, two and a half hours I've played have been pretty great. Uh, this is like eight gig, I think, eight and a half gig. More friends the better. More friends the better. More friends the better. Alright, I'm pretty sure I gotta go this way. I'm sure there's collectibles and stuff the other direction, um, but if I remember right, I'm just trying to speed ahead. Uh... Oh crap, where am I? Do I have grenades still? No, I used all my grenades. I had a dude coming up that I could really use some grenades for. What's going on, GT? How you doing, buddy?
Alright, where is he? Where is he? There he is. No, that's on him. Okay, one down, one down, one down. The weather effects are so good. I got such a perfect angle at him. Oh, come back, come back. I'm okay with that, actually. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Such a good angle at this guy. Oh, I'm totally cheating my way through this section. Hey, take it easy, hop on the hype. So many headshots. So many headshots. No, my, I, I haven't played easy. I've never tried easy on this game yet. Um, I, don't, I don't think that this game it's all that hard, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody needs to play it on easy. Yes, there we go. Totally cheated. Yeah, guys, I didn't realize that. That there's an options menu right here. It's crazy. You can check your collectibles. It's like, look at all the collectibles I've missed, or that or maybe they're just out of order. Um, and also uh, settings here. Uh, you know, all the stuff that you need, uh, except as everyone has already pointed out, the smooth turning has the worst. It's so slow, even at the highest speed and has the worst blinders, it's just, it's almost unplayable. I, I would not recommend using smooth turning. It's $20, Robert Sullivan, and th the word that I've been giving is if you are patient with the controls, because they're very hard to learn, uh, then you should absolutely buy it, because $20 is a steal for this game. Um, and I've gotten used to the controls. I'm very happy. Uh, I'm very happy with, with how they feel now. But man, did it take two hours to get used to them? Yes, it did. <laughs> Uh, I would love if Viva Games patched this uh, with better a better control scheme. I'd love if they patched it with possible aim support. Uh, I'd love a lot of things. But the fact is, is we can only kind of look at it uh, the way it is now, right? Oh, so guys, this is one of the, this. I wouldn't call this a puzzle. Um, this is just a fun little VR thing to do. You know, it's like a one. It's like a maze, and then when you open it up. You get a cool item to use. There we go. So what do we got? I don't know what that is. <laughs> But I think that's just a collectible. I think uh, the later ones, the later puzzles I found, there are like very, very cool things inside of them. Um, there's a compass. I believe that's where I found my compass later in the game. Uh, and the compass is very helpful and very strange. As Oh, Jesus. This guy, I don't think we need to shoot. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you doing? I didn't shoot him last time. Should I shoot him? Oh, oh, please, please spare me, please. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Fish with human faces? This must be what they're looking for, whatever it is. You guys can see uh, the little advertisement. Find this thing before the mercenaries do. 
You guys can see the advertisement for uh, Viva Games' other game, Your Toy, which was supposed to have PlayStation VR support, but never actually got it. I'm sad that you can't take that with you. There are audio logs in this game. I don't feel like listening to it because it's... it's because the story is like just kind of okay, I guess. Brody, didn't you play Quiver with uh, with friends? Didn't you even play it with Amanda? Hmm. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Let's climb down our ladder here. Do, 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 down the ladder we go! Down the ladder! Okay. There's a song for everything. Apparently, even climbing down ladders. Alright, here we go. Guys, I think we are get, slowly getting to the first boss. Oh god, I'm so, so not ripped. I've so not been to the gym in such a long time. Uh, GT, I had some graphical problems in this game during uh, a lightning section. I don't know if it's this upcoming section here, uh, where like the lightning would flash and it would like flash in the environment instead of like in the sky. Um, but... But what I had done is uh, I kept putting my system into rest mode because I, 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 did, I wasn't hitting save spots or checkpoints. And so I kept letting it go into rest mode and coming back to it. Um, and then so, and it, but then, so when I quit the game and came back to it, it was, it was totally fine. Um, so uh, I don't know if rest mode had something to do with it. I am, I'm the one that's always saying, don't leave your console in rest mode. It'll screw with your tracking. But apparently it might have also screwed with the graphics in this game. I don't know. Uh, or maybe I just ran into a graphical glitch and resetting it. You know, solve the problem. Javier, this is totally out uh, most places, actually. All right, guys. It's starting to get intense. Is the game starting to get good? This, this right about here is when this game starts getting good. So you've been you've been watching a lot and just kind of waiting. Here we go. I really want to review this game soon. This is like... I, I don't want to like oversell the game, but I'm enjoying it so much that like it's it's really one of my new favorites. Like it's... I'm, I'm having more fun with this. Oh crap. I'm too close to this. Let me walk back here. There we go. Nothing over there. Yeah, I've actually, I'm actually using the pre-order theme uh, right now. It's okay. It's nothing crazy. Um, I really like the when when you push up on the uh, on, on your home screen. Uh, I like I like that image better than the one. You know, it's got this like creepy like zombie dude that sort of like animates. He sort of looks like he's about to run at you. Um, but the but the regular one on like the regular. Uh, home screen is just okay, I guess. But, you know, whatever. It's a pre-order bonus. Not bad. No complaints. So this is what I was saying earlier. Like, there's a lot of this. Just grayness. But what you're about to see totally sold me on the game. You're kidding me. Where did that come from? Check this out. Check this out. Yeah, this sounds great. <laughs> Look how amazing that is. Like... Remember when they remember when you saw the tornado in uh in Sola's project? This is like this is I mean yeah, there's a tornado back there, but holy crap. Like, these things are just insane. Here, we gotta move up fast. What's up, Jens? Oh we to I totally skipped the cutscene on accident. I didn't mean to skip the cutscene. It's all good. Yeah.
Pretty typical stuff. Just hit the red dot. And then there's some stuff that flies at you too. Just gotta watch out for that. Ah! Crap, got overheated. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Crap! Alright, are we good? Are we good? We're not good. Jesus! like just just like one of those awesome things man it's like an awesome moment where like I, and i and i don't know if that's what people are referring to when they're saying the first boss i can only assume so but that's the second time i played it on normal difficulty there is no hard difficulty um and it's just uh and, and, and i got hit a bunch of times but like i didn't i didn't have any issues obviously uh Uh, the right, unfortunately, the 3D rudder is not supported. I actually have it hooked up right now, and uh, it's right in front of me. I tried it; it does not, it does not work. The 3D rudder is, is not supported in this game, from what I can tell, anyway. <laughs> Sitting in darkness, one of my favorite things to do. Sitting in darkness, oh yeah. It's a game cat snorgy. Darkness! <laughs> Receiving. Oh, there we go. Looks like there are dragons here after all. Here there be here dragons, dragons folks. The cliff gave way, and now I'm underground somewhere. What the hell is this place? What's your situation? We're in slow motion walking mode. I stole a bike. Then I rescued Slow motion. Come on, cutscene. End. Can I skip the cutscene? Can't skip the cutscene. All right, come on, here we go. All right, so again, that... <laughs> oh, this is where you get the compass. I forgot. So cool. All right. Yeah, this is, this is when the game goes from uh, being just okay and kind of cool to being a Brian Paul-ass game. Wow, she's totally forgot. Okay. Uh, oh, look, it's eating tomorrow. Whew. Oh, so I got to get out of here. So again, that's how Eden. That's how Eden tomorrow uh, sliding should go. Here, let's let's swap some stuff around here. I want to in my right hand. I want to have the knife. There we go. All right, Betty's gonna help us out. You see that little thing over there? Yep, they're fish, and they don't like us. Uh, crap, I keep unequipping. 
Hey, you're right, Pop. Alright. So, you hear that noise? That is the compass. And the compass is telling us which way to go. It's telling us to go every way. <laughs> wow. Of rotten flesh. Right, we're, we're just gonna go this way. Was there a person in there? All right, here we go, guys. See? You see what I'm saying? This is when the game starts getting good, man. Rody, so so you have to select the compass, right, from from the menu, and then just like reloading, do a little shake, and it opens up. You shake it, it closes back up, and we unequip it. And to get through this area, this area is like, this is like one big labyrinth. So you need to check the compass all the time. And the compass will basically always tell you, <laughs> you're welcome, dude. Uh, the compass will always tell you which way to go. Um, so it's easy to get lost. And you do, and you do want to get lost because there's like a lot of cool things to find. Um, and a lot of walls to blow up. Uh, I've never once even picked up the Molotov cocktail. So we're actually going to stay away from that. But when I say this, like, totally combines, like, Resident Evil 7, it combines Brookhaven, it combines, um, just, I don't know, man. So, like, there's a lot of cool elements going on here. And, uh, and, and again, you know, like, at this point, I've just gotten so used to the controls that, like, again, people are going to complain about them. And, and I'm just, like, I'm, I'm just kind of, like, at the point where if they don't get patched, I've gotten used to them. I'm kind of okay with it. Which is strange, I know. It's strange to just be like, you know, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. I just get used to, like, everything sucking. But, uh, but man, it's so worth it. Right? Killing for, and killing for incursion. Uh, yes, Jamal, you should. But again, take your time with the controls and learn them. Killing for incursion is like, it feels like the demo of this game. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, killing for has like, what, four basic areas? Or five basic areas? I forgot. Uh, this and this just feels like so much more fleshed out. All right, rock paper scissors slap everybody. The cops are coming to get me. All right, let's get some uh, distance here. I've blown myself up by uh, by, by shooting these things. There we go. All right, here's another one of these uh, puzzle games. I forget what I I really thought that this is where I got my compass from, but I guess not. So uh these are these are just for collectibles, I guess. It's totally a should we. Kill X is just a demo. Yeah, Kill X well, Kill X was a demo for this game. We were talking about killing for incursion though. Unless I missed out on part of the conversation in the chat, I'm sorry. Yeah, this just feels like a more full, like fully fleshed out game. Like there's like, you know, a better story, uh, even if it's really wonky and strange. Um, there's just, you know, it gives you more exploration. It gives you more. It gives you collectibles to find. It just feels like, again, like I've been saying this since the stream started, but it feels kind of like Uncharted One ish. But then it gets um, scarier faster and goes into the paranormal faster. I, I'm wondering. Is this going to help us out? Alright, we're going that way. Yeah, I mean, because well, Dread Halls was all of this color. <laughs> That's why. Dread Halls was like... Like, the entire game of Dread Halls looked just like this. <laughs> Dread Halls was great though, man. I love Dread Halls. Alright. I guess we're skipping that direction. And I kind of, when I played this last night, I sort of took my time and just went everywhere because I wanted to explore every single uh, crevice of this cavern. I wanted to find every single collectible. I wanted to like basically, um, you know, I want to, I want to hundred percent this game if possible. Um, but man, now I just need to push through. Uh, Frankie, yeah, I love, love, love horror games in VR. Um, 
But I can't lie, man. Like, I do. I, I, I freak out constantly. There we go. There's another one right in front of us. There it is. You see the little the mark in the water? Here it comes. Oof. Almost didn't... <laughs> almost missed that one. Even when you know they're coming, you still jump, man. Still jump. So you played this for four hours today. Um, if you played this for four hours, you gotta tell me, man. Like, how how far in the game do you think you are? Because I've only, I'm only about two two and a half hours in, and like I feel like I'm, you know, like I said a thousand times already, barely scratching the surface. Uh, I should probably check my uh, compass here. Uh. Is there a left-hand turn coming up? This is halfway through the game? What? Is, uh, is God Cannon still in the chat? Maybe he can tell us. Right, let's grab this here. The Solus Project, yeah. There's a little of that. Um, but I don't, I, Solus had a very distinct feeling about it, um, that I've like, I've kind of never seen in any other game. Oop, we're going that way. We're, we're skipping you, red laser people. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm assuming that doesn't look very impressive on the stream. Hey, uh, non-profit, take it easy, dude. Have a great night. Um... <laughs> But man, I will tell you that like when you're in VR and when the, when the caverns are all like vibrating and shaking and like, you know, tremoring around you, tremoring a word, I don't know. Um, we're going straight. And, uh, and like the dust caught, falls from the, from the ceiling, man, it, it is, it is very, very effective. Hey, Wolfie's back. You weren't gone very long, man. Cool. Collectibles are great. Yeah, Tantrum. Uh, so, uh, just just to re <laughs> just to reiterate everything that I said, Rody, take it easy, man. Uh, hopefully, we'll all finish this game this week and get be able to get caught up on. The Gamescast, the new and improved game ca Gamescast, next week. That's right. Everybody come over and join us on Discord. Uh, I honestly, like, I like, I pretty much like everything about this game. Uh, thank you, Mega Raylan. Um, <laughs> Matt's back for a minute. Uh, I like everything about this game, and the fact that the controls don't bother me anymore is uh, shocking to me. Absolutely shocking to me. Once you get used to the controls, you're like, yeah, this is just how this game plays. It's way different than everything else, and it's really irritating at first. But eventually, you're like, nope, this is just how it plays. Um, which, again, is like, why did, why did they do that to us? I'm going... I think... <laughs> Uh, so the game's cast next week will be Thursday night at 6 p.m. Eastern. Alright. Come on, we need to get out of here. This, this was obviously the wrong way to go. The compass is leading us astray. Alright, we went down there. What's up, Bunsen? I think I think we got to go through these lasers now. I wasn't going to. But man, this is no, no, you, no, you cannot. You are not to be trusted, Matt. <laughs> so, 
Uh, great tantrum there is smooth turning. Uh, the problem with smooth turning is that even at the highest turn setting speed, it's really slow, and there's automatic blinders that are really, really irritating. Like, I mean, it's bad to the point where here I am, the guy who uses smooth turning in full locomotion for everything, uh, and, I'm, and I refuse to use smooth turning in this game because it's just bad. They need to patch a few things. They do. They need to patch a few things, but man, even if they don't, I'm still really happy with my $20 spent. So you guys are getting the impression about how my review is going to turn out. Um, it's it's going to be a pretty positive review. And as far as the games cast go, guys, um, I the the great thing about the new format of the games cast is that we're going to be able to have a lot of guest hosts come on. We're going to be able to have some game cats come on. Uh, we are absolutely Mark. We we know, man. We we know we know how to turn them on. We just don't want to do it because because it's terrible. <laughs> um. Because yeah, the, the the smooth turning in this game is just just not fun at all. Do, 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 do. I, I definitely blew myself up at this exact point uh, one time. So I'm taking an extra step backwards. Unseen, I have a 3D rudder standing right in front of me. Uh, so we're sitting right in front of me, and I tried it. It did not work. Uh, so this apparently is not one of those games. Hey, thanks for showing up. So, the, so the, the cool thing about, like I said, the games cast that, yeah, occasionally we will invite, like, um, you know, game cats onto the show, you know, they, I, I know, I know, uh, I've been talking to people like JD, I've been talking to people like, um, like Mikey Sensei, the game cat, uh, game cat extraordinaire, you know, and like, these, these are people that like, I trust their opinions and, um, and uh, it's just, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, I, and I feel like these, you know, I'm kicking Jeremy off the show. I'm not kicking Jeremy off the show. Jeremy's more than welcome to be part of the show too. Um, but as as he agrees, it's uh, it's you know when he has something to contribute. Uh, so he's he's definitely not off the show at all. Uh, Eastville, you know what? I don't know what the first 3D rudder game I'm going to try is. Uh, I don't think this uh, this is helping us very much. Yeah, it's 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 not supported yet, uh, God Cannon AJ. Um, I try I tried it before I started the stream because I was like, oh, what a, what a cool cool way to stream this game would be uh, to to use my brand new 3D rudder that just showed up in the mail today. Uh, unfortunately, though, it, it didn't it didn't work. It didn't do anything. Uh, so, what can you do? It's actually still hooked up. It's actually still hooked up. I'm I'm curious. Like, what if I just step on it right now? <laughs> Trying to use it, like, in the middle of my living room. Yeah, it's going to be so great. It's going to be awesome to be able to hang out with Dave Station. It's going to be awesome to hang out with AJ. Basically, my two, um, for the most part, my, my two guest hosts are... Okay, right, we're going that way. That's a good thing, because this, this cable only goes one way. Yeah, I'm not sure what my first uh, 3D Rudder game will be. 20 bucks. This game is $20. And uh, I'll tell you, man, even if it ended right now, I'd be like, yep, it's worth every penny. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't check the... So, I, I, I sorry, I kind of missed, I, I missed the name on this one. But whoever said that you have a ton of games in your backlog that you haven't finished, there's a part of me that always goes... The part of me that always goes, you know, if you haven't finished it, or if you didn't stick with it, maybe it's time to move on, right? Otherwise, your backlog just grows and grows and grows and grows. Like, oh, sh what? That one had a timer on it. I, maybe they all have a timer on them? I've just been backing up and shooting them. I guess I guess if you just tap it, and that was the first one I ever touched after I, uh, after I put it down. That's awesome. I didn't realize. I, I thought it was a little strange that there was a timer on it, and, uh, and I had to shoot it. So I guess there's a timer. But yeah, I'm, like, this, is, this is a game like that. Last night, um, I had, it was like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I found myself like finishing editing Viewer Takeover, and then I was like, I should go to bed. I have things to do in the morning. 
and uh, and instead I played this for another hour. And I was like, this is a game that I just couldn't stay away from. Um, so... So my so my my deal is is like this this is when she gets cool guys. This is when she gets cool. Right? It's like anytime anytime it's it's anytime it's not just caves anymore. <coughs> and it's suddenly like what the fuck is going on? What's Judging happening down here? Earthquakes. The island must be near a fault line. This could all come down at any moment. Nobody home. Wonder where everyone has got to. Yeah. This is this is when I love. This is when games get really good. Again, there are audio logs, and if you're like really into I the story, the twin fish jade. you can totally, you can totally do that. Um. New weapon. Kind of a nail gun, dart gun, uh, something gun. I haven't figured out how to use this. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's a way to use this, but I can't. I don't know how. Um, like, obviously, it's going to project something up here. But it doesn't actually seem to do anything. And there's isn't even an arrow pointing to it, like, oh, you can use this. But I have not figured out how to yet. I played with it quite a, quite a while, too. Also, there's this over here. That, like, is like a specimen. It's got, like, these little black bugs with red eyes in it. And, uh, and like, I don't know what you can do with this. I don't... I don't, hey, take it easy, Ash. I don't know if this is like a thing. Like, it's like, am I just supposed to pick it up and look at it? You know, because you can't put it in your inventory, and if you walk away with it, too, walk too far away with it, it just goes back. Uh, it just resets itself where you found it. Do you, so wait, you said something about a flash drive in the first level? I totally don't, I'm not sure if I found the flash drive in the first level. I keep finding audio logs. So was there a flash drive I could put in there? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Inventory full. What do I got my inventory I can get rid of? Interesting. Interesting. Well, I definitely missed out on that then. Hey, congrats on the uh, the PSVR purchase. Uh, you bought it at the right time. Obviously, they just announced... Um, they, they just announced that you haven't been able to use that headset with... Uh, on your PlayStation 5. So, yeah, Tommy, don't spoil the game for yourself. This is, uh, we don't really know how long this is yet. All right, so I think I've pretty much dealt with everything that I can here. So let's, uh, let's keep moving on here. PS5 is compatible with PS5. I totally agree. I think so Sony knows what they're doing, man. So Sony's this thing is finally taken off and uh and they don't want to alienate the people who finally bought a PlayStation VR headset, so don't you worry about a thing. Enjoy enjoy what you have and don't worry about what's coming next. Uh it's very easy to get into a um into a, into a rut where you're like, I don't want to buy this because something else is coming out. Because something else is always going to come out. So, uh, so that that's that's just how things work. Um, but man, this is this is so good. Here, I didn't realize you could just so cool. Okay, let's run. <laughs> I've been walking away and shooting them. Oh, we got another one of these things. Jeez, they're everywhere. There we go. That was pretty quick. Let's get the collectible. There we go. 
Alright. So these caves, like I said, these caves really do, like, take some time. But, like, obviously they're, they're interesting, man. They don't... They're certainly not a letdown by any stretch. Uh, I played No Man's Sky when it first came out for, like, a couple hours. And then I never played it again. <laughs> I put it on a launch day. And, uh, and that was it, man. That That's the last time I played No Man's Sky, but... Obviously, I'm gonna play the crap out of it! <laughs> leading up to- leading up to the VR launch. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap. Crap! Jesus. This guy's relentless. Trying to conserve ammo. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working at all. No, 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 no! Get away from me! Get away! Get away! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I did not expect that to happen. I thought I was just going to save some ammo, man. That was, that was bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they look just like you see on the screen. They just pop up. Like, right in the headset. Um... So that was like a molded, man. That was like just like one of the molded. So Resident Evil 7 infects this game very quickly. Um, I don't have a, I don't have anything to burn it with. So, oh, by the way, so who in the chat has already played this far into the game? Because I do need your help, man. Um, I'm going to need your help in like maybe about 10 minutes. We're just gonna run this way. How about that? So I'm just leaving them back there. I don't want to waste all my ammo on them. Sweet, Wolfie. I, I'm, I'm gonna need your help in just a minute here. Oh no, Wolfie! You're stuck where I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh good. I'm going to I'm going to need help. I feel I feel like the answer is somewhere in one of these notes. Like the the thing that I'm struggling with. Hey, you take it easy, Roy. Better stay dead this time. <laughs> well, hope some kind of fungus. Wolfie, hopefully we can all figure it out together. Must be part of Bravo team. That's what you get for acting casual in dangerous places. Wonder where his pals are. Just wanna put him out of his misery. Oh wait, are we there? Are we, or there's, there's a part before it, isn't it? Uh, the, the metal card is the thing I keep picking up and not knowing what to do with. That stench of death again. Yeah, the, the metal the metal card. It's got the four holes in it, and uh, and I'm like, I'm like, it's got the, it's got the number on it. Um, you can't take the metal plate away from the room that it's in. The, the metal plate, like, it, it's just like the, uh, that specimen back in the lab room there. Like, you can only go about 10 feet with it, and then it, and you have to drop it.
What, what do I do with the metal card, though? That's the question. Was that a Zuru? Sticker on the door plus the card. Oh, so I can take, I, for some reason, I thought that once I got to the door, I wasn't able to use the, uh, the metal card anymore. Here, let me, let's just do that real quick. Because this is something I've been stuck on for a little bit here. Now, I appreciate you not wanting to spoil things. I love how it's not translated here, just because it's like, just looks so much cooler. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I... Oh, it's always tough to get rid of a, a weapon. I never know what to get rid of. Do you, do you keep a weapon you like just because... Uh. No, I, I want to keep that for sure. Yeah, you know what? I've, I've never really been a fan of shotguns. So here's the, here's the metal card we've been talking about, right? And it's got the four holes in it. So, this is obviously a spoiler. So we have to... Oh, oh, it just puts it right on it! Come on! It looks like 8825. Thank you very much for your help, sir. I very much appreciate you. I was like standing right here, holding, holding the card, and being like, what am I supposed to do with it? I'm like comparing it to that and to... Nothing. Okay, but it's eight. Maybe it's two eight five eight. There we go. All right. Excellent. Thanks for your help. Ooh. Whoa. Well, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty intimidating. It's kind of like a wide open area. It feels like. Jesus. That was so easy, Wolfie, right? When somebody just tells you what to do. Jesus. This is creepy, man. This is creepy. Take it easy, Raiko. Yeah, come back and hang out with us soon. Meow. Oh, Jesus. another one way back there but I'm like hey take it easy man I'm glad I'm glad we all figured it out together and by figuring it out I mean thank you for telling us the answer sir yeah Fred I'm, I'm really really enjoying this for sure uh, everyone hates the controls but I gotta be honest I'm pretty pretty used to them at this point like to the point where I'm not even complaining about the controls anymore He's a spitter. There we go. I don't know how difficult those guys are gonna be. Lots to read. Oh, another puzzle to solve. Not a real puzzle, but you know, a thing. There are some actual puzzles, like the door we just ran into, and I think if we didn't have help, um, I was literally stuck there for 20 minutes. Um, so. Yeah, I've been saying November 2020 on PS5 for, for pretty much ever, so I, I, th I think that's fairly accurate. More collectibles. Dude, Russia Blood is so good! Everyone should have Russia Blood. Shoot. Oh, Jesus! 
Oh, they're fast. Oh, they're fast. I was not expecting them to be fast. I was sort of expecting them to be, like, really slow. Did you see that? That was, like, intense. There were, like, two of them running at me at the same time. They didn't even give them give me a chance to, like, fight one. They are just like, here, have two, Brian. Poof. Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, come on. This is creeping me out, man. This is creeping me out big time. This is, this is so good. Yeah, right? Jay, I told you, man. I told you. You, gotta, you have to stick with this one. And it just gets better the more you play it. Getting trophies left and right, man. They're popping. Popping like crazy. Unfortunately, it's the wrong account. So what's what's the verdict? Is my uh, has, has my live stream been okay resolution wise? Did did uh did my charter guy fix everything? What was his name? Ben. Did did he fix all my problems? Oh, good. Good to hear, Jay. Jay, this is available everywhere, man. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a, there was a problem, obviously, with my uh, with my internet, uh, big time, during the uh, during the games cast, which is why I finally, finally, Ben Ben done great, man. Ben done real good. So he, re he replaced my modem, apparently the one I had was like super crazy outdated. Total blind fire here. Uh -oh. Jesus. It's good to hear, good to hear. Now, no, no data cap. Um, in fact, I actually pay for better internet so that I can um, so I can stream at a higher resolution much faster. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! The whole thing's moving! Yeah, we want, we want to do that. Alright, I had to push the move button to, to attach it. I don't, I don't know what we're doing with this thing, though. <laughs> Uh, it's it. <laughs> uh oh oh no I hope we didn't need that uh, so so it seems like AJ will be every week uh, it sounds like currently Dave has to work every other Thursday night um, so uh, excellent so we we should we should be seeing some uh, some variety in the hosts now let's just go this way let's see what happens. Uh, I think I've got to create a path here, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, think, I think I might have lost the very important piece of the puzzle. Come on, you can get it. You can get it. Problem is I don't know totally what I'm supposed to be doing. So I didn't I didn't really get down there first and check it out. So I wonder if I can. 
Maybe this one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing, is just clearing a path. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing anything, like, real specific. Also, I don't have my crane operation license yet. So, uh... So I feel like maybe I'm not the one qualified to do this job. <laughs> Alright, it looks like our path is almost, almost cleared. Almost clear. So I think we just need to clear this one here. Clear this one. There we go. Let's just move it this way. There we go. That's out of the way. And then maybe just this one last blue one? Crane Simulator 2018. It's last year's. There we go, there we go. Alright. That path looks pretty clear. If we can't make it past there, then well, we've got bigger issues than that, I guess. Um... I guess back down we go. Anything else to do while we're up here? No? Alright, check it out, check it out. Let's climb down the stairs, climb down the stairs. Climb down the stairs, climb down the... Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's that music, what's that music? Who's coming after me? No! <laughs> I just gotta run away from him. He's gonna run away. We know how much ammo he uses. Ah! Run away! <laughs> I've heard of parasites that can control their hosts, but that was something else. All right, like that's nothing in nature. What did these guys find down here? Whatever it is, it doesn't look healthy. I so... better watch my back. So that's... I just hope this is the worst <laughs> that these caves have to throw at me. Yeah, absolutely, Kahim. Uh, it's uh, the I'm, the PlayStation 4 Pro looks dramatically different, or ma dramatically better for a lot of games. Um, all right, so guys, keep that in mind. Uh, those those black tar gentlemen uh, covered with flies. Don't don't waste your ammo on them, and save your ammo. Run away from them. They move slow enough where you just ha you're supposed to run. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, guys, that I should stop streaming this right here. Uh, I've my my intention was to tell, show you guys that even though no so fanners the <clears throat> the game the game starts off and it's out in the open and uh, we just recently got into the caves so it's I'm curious to see where it goes but it's it started off very uncharted like and then it became very like Resident Evil Seven like uh, so like I'm again curious to see where this goes but my intention for the stream was to show you guys that you're going to hear a lot of people complaining about the controls but obviously you've been watching me play for a while and I've very, very much gotten used to them. Um, so yeah, they suck, but get used to them. You're gonna love this game. Uh, and also on top of that, I wanted to show you the change, the progress that this game makes when it's, you know, when it goes from like one style of game to kind of another. Um, and that we are getting into a little bit of puzzle solving too. Um, beautiful game for the most part, graphically. Um, very, a lot of repeated textures, but man, overall, it's, it's, it's a really good looking game. Uh, it's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of action. And uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan, man. This is exactly the game I've been looking for. Um, so thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me and watching the stream. Uh, make sure you guys, um, you know, keep keep an eye on the channel. We've got a lot of content on the way. Uh, and obviously, I'll probably be doing another live stream again tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I keep... Thank you for the donation, Janet. I keep reloading on accident just because I keep moving my hands around. <sighs> That's it, guys. Uh... Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Uh, I love you all.